Hi everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and welcome to my creative space. I'd like to welcome you here to enjoy a video series of journals that I made using the digital kit Spring Mist by Andrea from Artie Mays. And I'll be sure that her YouTube channel and her Etsy store are linked in all the videos. This really has been almost a year in the process of making. From technical issues to software issues to COVID. It's just been actually a labor of love. <laughs> I hope you enjoy watching this series as much as I enjoyed creating it and making it. I hope that it encourages you to make something creative and you know, whatever it is you enjoy creating. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video series, and please remember to be nice. It's not that difficult. So if you don't have anything nice to say in the comments below, don't bother saying them because chances are I already know. So enjoy the series. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Whoops, over here. Be sure to subscribe and check that notifications bell. All right. Enjoy, everybody. Well, hi everybody. How are you? It's Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and I'm here to share a project and this is going to be a series. It won't be something that we can get done in just one sitting. It's going to take a while. Um, but basically, and excuse this, this paper is hiding that. <laughs> My husband, who was so sweet at Christmas, got me this mat. Only problem is that. <laughs> and it's kind of dirty. But you know what? That just means it's well loved. So let's turn this this way so not quite there. So that way you won't see the light. So this here, I bet you're wondering what it is. Hmm. This whole package of things is going to become this. And all of a sudden, a song just popped into my head saying, Isn't she lovely? <laughs> so, anyway. This is going to become that, and I'm going to take you on the journey of making it, this journal. It is a um, journal that was, uh, the kit was created by Andrea over at Artie Mays, and I will link her in the description below. And also, the um, I wanted to just thank Andrea for making awesome, awesome kits. Um, and also to Gina for always encouraging me, for always being understanding. It's been a rough year. Um, it's just been a rough year. <laughs> and um, started my summer break sick. So I'm still kind of don't have a lot of my energy back 100%. But I am back to creating at night and sleeping in late. So that's a good thing. So anyway, um, just to kind of go through, um, the other journal has like a dusty pink 
um, uh, ribbon. This isn't really ribbon. It's um, so, oh gosh. See, here's what happens to me when I'm really, really tired um, and when you're also in the middle of menopause. This is silk sari ribbon. So I will be using this instead of the pink because it goes better with the lace that I'm using. And it also goes, goes well with, um, with, our, with everything here. So this, this is laces that's going to be there. Um, these are a couple of things I put together that's going to be going in there. This is going to be being wrapped around every, a lot of different things. It's the cover. Just all kinds of stuff. And the cover on the other journal, as well as this, is printed on. Let me see if I can reach it. Cover that up. Everything that I use will be listed in the um, description below. I am a um, Amazon affiliate. Um, I make pennies on the dollar, so anything I make off of um, my affiliate store um, helps me purchase all this stuff, <laughs> but this is what I use. Um, they're cotton sheets. They can be run through your inkjet printer, and this is what you get. Color's a little bit muted. Um, not a big deal. And oh, you know what? With the um, with the Amazon store, with the uh, the affiliate link, you don't have to buy just you know things that I um, that I you know have on my list. You can use that affiliate link to buy anything that you want, and I will still you know make a small you know like I said pennies on the dollar basically. But you can use that for anything. So um, what I have done is I have printed everything out on a linen card. Um, it's not cardstock, but on a linen paper. It's turned out very pretty. I'm going to be using recycled Amazon packaging. I will be using coffee dyed paper. I will be using some coffee dyed ledger paper and all that. Now I will also be sewing all of my pages together because for me it adds texture and I think it looks really cool. Just feeling on that. And um, so also because, <clears throat> boy, dying of thirst here. Um, what I need to do is I need to cut down all my pages because I do not have borderless printing on my printer, even though it says it does. It lied to me. So what I need to do is I need to cut all these down and get this and I also need to cut out all of my ephemera. Um, all of my ephemera will be backed on coffee dyed paper. Um, boy, do I want to do it on coffee dyed pa paper? Yeah, I do. I do want to do it on coffee dyed paper. So anyway, um, I'm going to get all of that started. So the next time you see me, It'll be like this for you. It'll probably be a day or two for me. <laughs> so I'm going to get started on all of that. And I will be taking you through the process. Um, I'm sure you don't want to see me cut paper. It's boring, boring, boring. So I will get through that process of at least getting the paper cut to size. And we'll go from there. All right, I'll be back in a flip. Well, hi there. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I thought, you know what? 
I am going to just cut a couple of pieces here just to, I wanted to show you something about this cutter, this paper trimmer. Um, I like it a lot, but sometimes it doesn't give me the cleanest um, of cuts. So one thing I've learned, this dog here, huh? I bring my, my blade up just a little bit and then hold down. Ta -da! And look, it's still not completely. So when it's still not completely the way you like it, that's when I just come in with my scissors. And cut it down. And I suppose I could probably do this for all my pages but that would take forever. The one thing I do like about this is that um, Andrea has already um, kind of uh, got the edges all um, darkened up. Let's see what the deal is with this. I'm wondering if I'm having a problem with my cutter, which would be really not cool. And I just lift that up. I want to have my wire lined up with the very edge of the design on the paper. Press it down. Yeah, see? Hmm just not quite just not quite doing what I want it to do that's all right I can fix it and you know this is just being really picky on my part because chances are you're probably not going to really see it anyway because there's going to be lace I need to bring you out just a little bit Yeah, that's not too bad. Let me adjust this just a little bit that way. All right. So that much we know. Let's try this side. I guess I could always just move it in a tad. See how that one goes. Oh, I want to drop that down. Okay, much better. I just have a little smidge here I need to cut off. Okay. And let's go up here, last side. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go through and do this to all of the pages in the kit, but I just kind of wanted to show you, if you can, start in the middle and then bring it down and back up again. So there that is, that'll be my center of my um, signature. Now I'm going to save this piece, this piece, uh, maybe these two little pieces, because what I do with these pieces, let me set these down here, um, Corey Dahman, she's created a monster. These are little tags created from the little scraps like these. And then, you know, I, of course, vintage photo them with Distress Ink. And then I'm going to have um, some flowers going there. Yeah. 
So that's the deal with that. And I'm actually just going to take both of these just to make it easier to manage. And I'm going to cut them in half. They fit easier into my container when they do that. As a matter of fact, I do need to go through my container and do that. So I am going to go through and cut all the rest of the pages. I just wanted to show you that little trick about starting it in the middle, then coming down and back up. Um, it makes for a much cleaner cut. All right, so I will see you after I've cut all these. Bye.